So we're looking at the odd numbered questions from section 15.4 and uh, we're looking at the ones between 11 and 16. So I guess the ones between 11 and 15 because we're only looking at the odds. We've already taken a look at number 11. What these questions are asking us, they're describing a graph and we have to tell them whether or not it is a tree. So is it a tree? The choices are yes, no, maybe. For number 11, we figured out that it has to, has to, has to be a tree. So for number 13, we're gonna do the same thing. Let's draw what they're describing and see if we can make sense of whether or not this is a tree. So for number 13, the description says that the graph has eight vertices and five edges. Okay, number 13, so we have eight vertices, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll go ahead and label those A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And they're telling me I can have pretty much any five edges that I want. Can I turn this into a tree? And you want to remember, for it to be a tree, to be a tree, sounds like something I did in acting class, to be a tree, it has to be connected and there can be no circuits. So those are the two things we need to check for. Okay, so I can draw five edges. Let's draw five edges. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is that a tree? Is this graph with eight vertices and five edges connected? No, I've got this part that's connected, but I have these two loose stray vertices over here. So it's not connected. There are no circuits, but it's not connected. Is there any way that I can draw this with five edges that is gonna get all of those vertices connected in this graph? And the answer is no. I've got eight edges, I need at least, or I've got eight vertices, I need at least seven edges to be able to connect to them. Here's edge one, edge two, edge three, edge four, edge five. I would need an edge here and an edge here to keep this graph connected. And you can try and draw the edges any way you want, but with only five edges, you're always going to have at least two vertices that are kind of hanging out by themselves that are not connected to the graph. So for number 13, the answer is two. It is definitely not a tree. There's no way that we can make this be a tree because there just aren't enough edges to connect the entire graph.